Watch this! Furion versus Rastakhan! Um, so one of these games I'll actually draw Kelisoth on curve. Maybe it'll be this game. Still got a chance. I'm really good at drawing that Cthune today, though. That's been a problem in the past. I might need to coin out a three. It depends on what the opponent does here. Totem isn't terribly threatening. I probably do want to coin out a three still just to be able to deal with a Mana Tide Totem. Because, uh, so that means I'm playing this one, which trades into a Mana Tide Totem. So Druid decks just have zero ramp now. Well, this one does. Also, it has one ramp. Cheer now to be. Cheer now to be. Thank you, Hello4, for this bit. Singular. Uh, that's what we set up for. So, I'm the best. It's now we've got twins. Uh, keeping the totems up is a liability for both Shutterwalk and, like, Volcano Clear, so... I'm just going face. Uh, turn 4 Barnes is kind of what makes Priest really good? No, uh, turn 4 pr Barnes is what makes Big Priest unfun, so that's why I'm okay with that being the change. But it's- the strength is in the, like, the cost of the mana- or the mana cost of the resurrect effects, but the irritation of the deck is the- Barnes enables those cards a little bit too early on turn 4, so I think increasing his cost is what I would do. But I'm not a game designer, so what do I know? Shamans aren't good at card generation, apparently. Are you sure about that? Who said I didn't have ramp? Take it back. Agatha says hi. Oh, not to me, to the person that said the shamans aren't good at car. Oh, sorry, I misread that. This says shamans aren't good at car generation. I don't think any class is good at car generation. There aren't many vehicles in, uh, in Hearthstone at all. Maybe like the hog riders? Flying Machine? Flying Machine's a good call, yeah. Some of the mechs, like, the Shredders are technically, like, vehicles, too. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, so if the opponent does have, like, one of the five mana clears here, first of all, it might not kill off the Arakoa. Second of all, we've just got a Spiteful Summoner behind it. Third of all, they overdrew a card, so they automatically lose the game. Them's the rules. So there's eight... Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Way to pick the worst target. I wonder why they did that. It's coming. I'm gonna take trades here. Uh, just because this is gonna sufficiently ramp my Cthune to where it just kills the opponent. And we're still at the stage where the opponent can't, like, uh, heal and full clear, so... Like, they need to do something pretty desperate here. If res effects res the tokens instead of the full value, I think Big Priest would be less of a problem. Yeah. That would be a change to core mechanics, though, so... I feel like that's a little bit different than just... Or less likely to be the case than nerfing mana cost. Will I upload some arena videos? I think people would watch it. Um... Probably not. I, I haven't been... Pra I'm not well practiced in arena. I used to play, but... It's not something I'd really do anymore, so I'd be bad at it, and I don't think that'd be... That's not what most of my audiences comes for, either. I recognize the, my poor word choice immediately after I said it, and, uh... Thank you, Halifor. Oh, we got that sweet visual bug happening again. So again, there should be no clear with a heal, so I'm just gonna get there. We're gonna be rich. <laughs> okay. That is a heal, but no clear. One. 
I do want to take that off the board though, just to prevent bounces and perpetual arenas. There's already going to be a shutter walk for that. This opponent dirty rats me this turn. Do I have a favorite class? Nah, I play them about all evenly. Math? What about math? This is the first turn that the opponent could wipe our board and uh, heal with a healing rain though, but the Reno tells us that there's only one healing rain, so not terribly likely that both are in hand. Hey, you're dead. Exactly. We did it. Watch your back. I must protect the wild. Uh, I want one drops against Rogue, especially. One drops and Keliseth eventually. But I guess we're never lucky. I had a streak of really good history teaker teakers. Teachers. So that's uh my default favorite class, that's fair. That has a pretty large uh impact on that choice, I'd say. So it's like Kingsbane, it's Mill, it's uh, literally any rogue that is an odd rogue. So, oh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it's probably like Pogo Hopper rogue. Mill rogue, see, I, I was gonna go with Mill rogue, but that was too close because there used to be a Mill Kingsbane, so people might have thought I was serious. Pingsbane! Oh, you press that hero power button. You can't just float two mana, what are you doing? Do you hear its call? Listen closely. No weapon buffs Kingsbane? That makes sense. Oh, it really is Mill Rogue. <laughs> Some people just can't let go. I need to not draw the uh, the second UI. The, these cards are completely dead in this matchup, I'm assuming. Four hours and I go to work for 13 hours. I should sleep, but your steam is good. Uh, I mean, I don't want to tell you not to sleep, but I'm going to. I want to narrow down my board because of Vanish. As long as we don't overdraw the Cthulhu, we're also in pretty good shape. But yeah, trading off those Fireflies was like a, a necessary decision because Vanish is a, is a card that exists in Wild. Yeah, I'm sure your boss will understand if you just tell him you have to watch some sweet twitch.television slash Raffle HS footage. Raiding party's fine. What is it? It's just like regular Kingsbane with Cold Light Oracle for some draw. Budget Kingsbane with uh, Cold Light instead of Myra's. I can't imagine you want to play those two cards together. I do want to play two cards at the same time. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to play a card that has uh, a value battle cry. So if it does get bounced back, it gets to be replayed. Alright, as long as we don't uh as long as we don't top deck the second UI, we're fine. Feed the fish, hey Peter, welcome to the stream. Oh, the opponent drew patches. Blood and blunder. Oh my god. These cannon shots. Well, I was winning.
Wrong god? Yeah. We'll get him next time. We just need to delay a little bit to get to the, uh... Stop it. Just stop it. Oh, okay. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. There can't be a prep vanish here, right? There may be a sap on the on the Nazoth. That would make sense. Okay. I suppose that also makes a, at least a little bit of sense. Are there any 10 mana taunts? Nah, 10 mana minions are big boys. Oh, good. More pirates to destroy us. Let's go ahead and play this. And neither of those are really good rolls. I mean, I'm not complaining because I still put a lot of stats on board, but could have gone better. If this cannon shot hits, or if another cannon shot hits this in his off, okay. Whew. Uh, we can set the Malfurion next turn and maybe go face a couple times. That'll, if we go face twice with the Malfurion hero power, that allows us to uh, set up a UI lethal. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that last one was probably bad, but like all of these cannon shots have hit my minions, right? Has one hit my face? Well, you're dead. The circle of life is over. Seven mana deal three. Easy game. That's some pretty good value. Nine mana deal three, you're right. You're right. Oh my god, did we do it? I think we did it. What if I go Keliseth into coin flu? <laughs> Is Kingsbane Rogue good? Uh, sort of. Depends on what matchups you're hitting. I'm gonna, this is not a good keep. I just wanted to do it because it was funny. I think it's a better deck than people give it credit for after the nurse. People just kind of wrote it off. It still has a place. It still beats Big Priest, I imagine. It just feels a lot worse because it's so much slower. It is impressive. Thank you for noticing. I'm going to play this next turn so I can start playing my big stuff soon. So, Reno Warlock, maybe? Could also play the... Eh. I want a ramp. Uh-oh. Jeez, these are so big. I want to, I want to brand some of my Cthulhu buffs just to uh, give myself a better chance of like bursting down the opponent. One mana, four five. Yeah, that's a yeti. I feel like that could have been ordered a little bit better for the opponent. By a little, I mean a lot, right? We could have Hellfired first. Yeah. The circle of life is over. Spooters. Always spooters, chat. I'm gonna take this trade as well, just so that I can face tank it next turn if I need to. Cube is the only concern, but this isn't, this isn't an opener that screams cube to me, right? It's more looking like Arena Warlock. Yeah. 
My minions think I'm weak? Oh wait, I am weak. I didn't even have the C'Thun buff. <laughs> Whoops. That's alright. I'm just gonna brand this guy next turn and then my minions won't think I'm so weak. Alright, it is in fact Reno. Um, we kind of need to be on the lookout for Dirty Rat, but also I think we're fine. Nice Geist. I don't want this uh, getting bounced because value is uh, concerning for me. It does make this trade happen, but I can just finish it off with the uh, the Flame Imp. Is this a Godfrey? Trade two, four, six. Yeah, it's a Godfrey. That's okay. Uh, it still could be... No. No. We saw the, uh... We saw the card. Alright. Just don't top deck the second UI and we're golden. That was a... That was a good UI. Like, we can fill out our curve, we can... Do some fun things. Probably gonna force out like a twisting nether. Also, these are still very large, if you hadn't noticed. Cthune? Well, that's never happened before. Do you hear its call? Do you hear its call? Impressive. Job done. Listen closely. Listen closely. Okay. We take those. Uh, we haven't seen Defile yet. Four. Okay, that's not enough to full clear. It's enough to mostly clear. I'm just gonna go face here. And make a one mana 3-4. How big is my Cthulhu? 1818. I just want to get that that big boy a little bit closer into uh, the range for killing the opponent. One, two, no three. There's a three. That's another three. If this is Defile, we're sad. It's not Defile. Actually, would have been better off uh, hero powering instead of playing one of those uh, Druid of the Scythes, but I have a thing for like playing two minions of the same name. Don't judge me. Cthune would be lethal. This is not lethal, but demands an answer. Well, that's pretty resistant to uh, single target removal. Uh, is there any reason to keep this around? Nah. Your Cthune buff counter doesn't show your two Kelesas? Oh. Oh, so that's a big boy. I've been really good at drawing both of my ultimate infestations. Yeah. Yeah. In this game, I was really good at drawing Kelesas on two, which seems to have made a rather large impact. The opponent doesn't seem too happy about it, though. I think they've already left. I should probably go ahead and leave, too. I'll see you guys later. Oh, hey, Reno decks have Reno. Oh, hey, Reno decks have two Renos. 
That's actually a really well-timed ultimate infestation draw, too. How how am I so good at this game? That said, I do need to kill the Reno and just uh, set up for a Cthulhu kill. That's the most amount of damage I could do. This is... I need to kill this off first, right? Here. 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 Got him! I'd say that was a pretty well-played game of Hearthstone. I drew Kelisoth on two. I drew both Spitefuls before the second. As soon as I played the second Spiteful, I drew the second Ultimate Infestation. I'm just... Let's face it, Chad, I'm the best.